Every time a loan transaction is performed, a due date is set for the item, as shown here. But how is the due date calculated? Every holding created is assigned to a group. This is where the policies for circulation are derived from. If we look at the holding, we can see it belongs to the general collection. Now, if we go to the groups, we can view the properties for the general collection group. And we can see here the members as well as circulation periods. Here we can see the loan period for general collection is set to 14 days. This is the number the system uses to calculate the due date. As we can see, from the 21st to the 7th, we have 14 days total between dates. If you wish to adjust the due date for a particular loan in the transaction list, click on the due date. Change the date in the pop-up window. Click OK. The new date is now shown. Global changes are not allowed to avoid any mistake for other due dates for the patron. Let's say your library loans out textbooks and you want them to be due by the end of the school year. We can use session due date for this. Simply expand session due date, select the date, check use session due date. Now check out your item. No. You'll notice the due date is the one that we just set. This will apply to all items checked out as long as use session due date is checked or until you log out.